Hey. Um, it's me. Well, you would have known that if I didn't block my caller ID. I know you don't usually answer your phone if the ID is blocked, and if you did, I would have hung up. The reason I wanted this to go to voicemail was so that I didn't have to talk directly to you. I'm also kind of wishing that you're never going to listen to this. To what I'm about to say to you. I... Um... I have some explaining to do. The reason why I haven't really talked or hanged out with you lately is it's just so hard right now being me. Listening to you talk about them. Yeah, your ex. They don't deserve you. And with all the stuff they got, and their excuses for what they did, the way your eyes looked when you told me about them, maybe you didn't think I'd see it, but I do. I <laughs> see the sorrow in them, and it makes my heart break. How, how they could do this to you. You being so, so sweet, caring, and thoughtful. When you say that they had to work a little harder this time before you take them back. I don't, I don't understand. Why are you even playing with that? Taking them back. They've done this before. And they don't deserve another chance. Another chance to what? Break your heart? Your spirit? All their stupid lines about how they don't know what they want. And that their feelings have changed. It's all a big load of crap. I would never do that to you. You mean so much to me, and the thought of hurting you like that, the way that they do? No. I still remember all the <laughs> good memories we have, and a few of the stupid ones. <laughs> but the one that stands out the most is. The one where we kiss. <laughs> Both of us had had a little too much to drink at that party. And you sang to me. I don't remember what you sang. But I do remember how the butterflies were going crazy in my stomach. When you looked at me so soft, so loving. It made my heart skip a beat. <sighs> I don't recall which one of us instigated the kiss and <laughs> frankly I don't care the feeling of your lips against mine slow and soft this time how my body heated up and our hands began to wander <sighs> it was the next morning when I realized that I had feelings for you I remember just laying in my bed, smiling, and my world just felt right. And also the way my head felt when I found out the two of you became a couple. I couldn't believe it at first. I didn't want to believe it. Suddenly the time we spent together was more limited. You always had something else you needed to do. I was thankful at first. I had time to get used to the thought of you being with them and what kind of part I had and was going to have in your life. I was happy for you. 
even if it wasn't with me, that you were happy. Because seeing you was and still is important to me. Please don't do this. Please just take a step back and look at what they did to you. It doesn't paint a happy picture, does it? The heartbreak, the pain, the worrying, and the uncertainty, and the uncertainty that they cause. Please, it, it just isn't worth it. <sighs> mm, this, <laughs> this is why I haven't talked or really hanged out with you. Because... It's your choice, and you are going to be the one that has to make it. It also doesn't help that I have feelings for you, and my heart is slowly breaking apart. Hearing the sadness in your, in your voice and seeing it in your eyes, even if you think you're hiding it from me, I can see it and I... And I also don't want you to make your decision because of what I feel or what I mean about it. It's your choice. So I'm kind of staying away. Well, I, I don't know. I just want you to be happy and I know I'm probably far from what you need or want. I just... I love you.